Wild Ginger Running Live competition draw. So every single month I have £400 worth of trail and ultra running goodies to give away, um, from backpacks to hydration to nutrition to um, tops to complete clothing, outfits, head torches um, and uh, hydration belts and um, this month voucher for a shop. Um, so loads of really cool stuff in the competition and every month we give away £400 worth of it. So the competition is just available to patrons so if you are a Wild Ginger Running patron you are automatically in with a chance to win all of these goodies. Um, so hello to everybody who's joining just now. We've got Adrian joining on the live broadcast and we've got Mark as well. Hi guys. That's great, so if you want a shout out then just uh, type something in the box and I'll read it out. I'm just going to do a recap on what is in the competition for May, then I'll tell you a couple of things about what's coming up on the channel um, uh, very soon, and then I will run you through the competition for June. There is so much in the June competition. You know I usually have them popping up on the screen? Well, they don't all fit popping up on the screen, so I might have to block out my face. Okay, so, hey everybody. Ah, so Guy is here. He's just on his lunch. Hi Guy. Um, John Watts is here. Hey. Um, Guy says good luck to everyone. Masood Kalali is here as well. He says hey. Um, Richard Howard also says hi to everybody. Brilliant. So we've got tons of people watching. That is fantastic. So here we go. What is up for grabs in the May competition 2020? So first of all, as usual, we have our Silver Cross Trail 5 Ultra, fantastic head torch from Silver, an ongoing prize. They put one in every, every single month, so so soon, in a couple of years, all patrons will be having one of these head torches. Um, then, this is an amazing voucher at the moment. We have a £100 voucher for Peatland Sports. So Peatland Sports is a family business based up in the north in um, Keswick and they've given us a hundred pound voucher to just um, encourage people to shop online. So the shop is open, so if you want any trail running stuff, head to Peak Brand Sports online. They're still very much open for business and they need your custom. So they've given us a hundred pound voucher, which is amazing. Then we have an Om Breeze hoodie worth £65. So there's either a man's one or a woman's one. I think they do black and blue in both of them. So um, yeah, you can choose a colour. Um, whoever wins, I will ask you what colour and what size you need. Then we have a Morton Nutrition Bundle. That is an ongoing prize as well, which is really, really kind of them. Um, so there we are, the Mort Morton Nutrition Bundle. This is um, nutrition, um, especially tailored sports nutrition, and uh, people like Mo Farah, Eliud Kipchoge, and now, news just in, Killian Jornet has started using it as well. Jornet, I should say, nowadays. Um, so Killian uses it as well, so it's got to be good. We tested it out on a patron run once, and it was really, really different to what you usually get. It wasn't as sweet. The gel was kind of like a jelly rather than a gel. It wasn't as sticky and horrible. So yeah, it's the kind of gel that you will like even if you don't like gels. So then the final thing in the competition is the Hyena Hydration Belt, and that's worth 30 pounds. And this is a new invention, and it's very interesting. It's got a, um, if you can see the bottle there just above the belt, that is made of, um, I think it's stainless steel, so it's metal rather than plastic. So if you're into um, saving the planet, cutting down on plastic, then this might be um, the one for you. And we do actually have two uh, other prizes as well. So we've got a second prize winner, and we've got a third prize winner. So second prize will be winning this lovely book here, Beyond Limits by Lori Morgan. Um, I've had a read, it's very, very good. Um, yeah, she's she's amazing, she's an incredible woman. Um, and then the third prize is this book by Alistair Jones, who we had on the live chat a couple of days ago. Um, it's a book of poetry all about running. So it's really, really super inspiring. Um, so it's the type of thing where you just can't fail to read one of these and then you just want to lace up your shoes and get out the door. So without further ado, let's just read out a couple more people um, here on the live chat joining us live, ready to see if they have won. So John Aries here, he's watching from a bus stop. 
cool. Um, uh, Runtime and Runners here. Ah, oh, he's able to join for a change. Fantastic. Hello to you, Simon. Um, Kurt's here, all the way from the other side of the pond. Uh, Trail Emmy is here. Hi. Hello. New to the live broadcast, I think. Um, Baz Green is here, uh, saying happy Tuesday. Um, Kurt's enjoying a coffee. Nice one. Um, Simon says he likes the hoodies. And um, John Airy says you can connect to Wi-Fi on a bus now. Who knew? Um, and Spiron to Ferros, wow, cool name, says hello from Greece. So, um, oh, and Benjamin Bowden is watching from Scotland as well. Fantastic. Well, hello to everybody watching. Thank you so much for joining us. I am now, going, I've put all the names into the computer on the other screen here, and I am now going to press the button to um, start the prize draw. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, here it goes. And it's just on the other screen here. Okay. Oh, and there's a couple more people joining us here just while it runs. Oh, I can see your names come up. There's Chris Barless from the west of Scotland. And um, we've got Raphael uh, Vel Vel Velasquez Vel um, from, uh, oh, just says hello, everyone. Um, fantastic. Uh, and Trail Emmy says, I'm Emma Morton. Oh, hello, Emma. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Um, great. Okay. So, oh, uh, this is very exciting. Um, I have met the winner a couple of times. He's been on a couple of patron meetups. So, um, and, and also he has been at the quiz a few times. We've been doing a quiz on a Friday before it got way too nice outside. Um, it, the winner is, he is going to be so thrilled about this. I don't think he's watching. So no one tell him, don't, don't say well done his name. Just say well done to all the winners. We won't tell him. So he has to watch this whole thing. Okay. So the winner is, Alex Dehoto, can you believe it? Alex, you've won. Hey, I'm really, really pleased about that because um, Alex is a really good supporter of the YouTube channel. So uh, it's just really awesome when somebody who's uh, um, you know really involved and, and really involved in the gang um, wins. So that is fab. Well done, Alex. That's cool. Um, so we're gonna draw the next couple of names now to see who has won the book by Larry Morgan. I'm just gonna get rid of some of these off the screen so you can see the book properly. And we're gonna see who has won the um, Alistair Jones book of poetry as well. So let's just get rid of those. Okay, so who has won this book from Lowry Morgan? Very, very interesting book. Lowry did the Dragon's Back Race um, just a little while ago. Um, and but her whole life has been one of adventure um, and pushing herself completely to her limits. So um, I did, I had a quick read um, and looked at all the photos and it's really inspiring as well. She, and she's a really nice lady as well. So, um, so the person who is gonna win this book, she's gonna post you one, she might even sign it. So there we go. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. There we go, right, okay, it's spinning. It's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. And the winner of the Lowry Morgan Beyond Limits book is none other than Elise Van der Acker. Fantastic. So I think that's going all the way to you in the Netherlands, I think, there, Elise. So congratulations, you have won this amazing book, very inspiring, by Lowry Morgan. Fantastic. So that is great. <laughs> and um, uh, final prize is the Mr. Running Jones book. So he's Mr. Running Jones on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter's his main thing. He loves Twitter um, and he's always posting really inspirational poems on there. We had him on the live chat a couple of days ago and it was really inspiring listening to him. And I said I would go and write a poem on a run, on my next run. Haven't actually done a run since then because I've been really lazy because it's been really, really hot. Um, but I know a couple of you have written poems um, on your runs, which has been really, really cool to see. So. Um, I might just read you one of his poems. Um, so let's just read this one here. So being a runner is strange. It can hurt so much. It takes you to your mental limits. It can drain you of all energy. You swear as you run uphill, you wonder how you will go on. And yet we absolutely love it. So that's the kind of poem that Alistair writes. They're really inspiring and it's often about the mid-pack runner or the back of the pack runner rather than the elites. It's not about pushing yourself, well, it's about pushing yourself at your level um, and whatever you want to get out of your own running and just feeling good about yourself, whatever you're doing. So I really, really love his poetry. Um, so I'm gonna draw the prize winner now. 
Oh no, no. There we go. Okay, it's spinning. Yeah, Alice is a really, really lovely bloke. He might even sign it for you. He signed mine at the front there. He's written, Dear Claire, I hope you find some smiles between these pages. Wishing you every happiness and um, many more running adventures. With love from Alistair. Cool. So he might even sign yours for you. Okay, oh, so the winner is none other than Stephen Mackey, which is amazing. So Stephen, I have met as well. So Stephen is, uh, I think, from Scotland, and he came down, he drove like three hours to go to the Christmas meetup, which Guy organised um, in Macclesfield Forest, and he came dressed as Santa, which was really, really fun. Um, he's just a, such a lovely guy, um, and uh, everybody really loves him, and he just, he's just like a, like a barrel of, of fun and laughter, so um, that is really cool. I think he'll be really inspired by those poems, so, so thanks to Alistair Jones for giving the book for the prize and um, if you want it there is a special link um, Alistair sent us a special link um, uh, so I think I've retweeted that but if you go into the film description below his interview on my YouTube channel you can see um, a link to buy the book if you if you fancy it oh I should probably put a link to buy Lowry's book as well if you fancy to get that I'll put I'll put links to both of the books in the description below um, this competition okay so Let's see, um, let's see who else we can read out a comment from. So who else is here? Abby's here. Hey Abby, nice to see you. So shortly I'll be reading out what is in the June competition and there is loads of stuff in the June competition, including some very nice chocolate, which I, I told the lady who's given it not to send it to me uh, because I will just eat it and nobody will get it as a prize. Um, so I've got a few announcements and then I'll do the June prize, um, but I'll just read out some uh, more people who are here. Um, New Phone Who Dis is here from Switzerland. Um, Rob Ward from Macclesfield is here. Rich Simpson is here as well. Um, and um, a Adrian is here. Oh no, I think I already read that out. Oh, Stephen Mackey is here. Hey Stephen, did you hear that you just won the third prize? Well, hey. A book will be on, on its way to you very, very soon. Um, Mark says, well done to all the winners. Thanks, Mark. Um, Sharon Jameson says, hello from sunny Scotland. Eh hey. Oh, it's so sunny, isn't it? I hope you're all outside listening to this. I've had to come inside just because it's just easier. There's building work going on outside in our garden. Um, so, yeah, I'll be going back outside to do some work later. Um, Gordon Parton is here as well. He, he's missed the main winner. Oh, you'll have to watch it again, Gordon. Um... And Alex is here. Hello, Alex. I think you'll have to start watching from the beginning, Alex. You might be interested in this this week. Um, and so Doug Wood says, hello, recent subscriber to the channel. Hello, Doug, and welcome. So this is the monthly competition. Um, if you want to be in with a chance to win, then um, sign up on Patreon um, to support me uh, because everybody on Patreon gets a chance to win in this competition. So it's just a little, one of the little perks, one of the many perks, actually. And I'll tell you about a new one um, just in a moment. Um, one of the many perks of being a patron and supporting the channel. So Dan Runs is here as well. He says, hey, um, and Alex DeHoto, has put a, a smile. Um, Alex has said congratulations to the winners. He obviously hasn't um, listened to it from the beginning. <laughs> you might want to listen from the start there, Alex. Cool. Okay. So, um, right. Three announcements. Okay. So first one, and I'll be putting this in the patron only Facebook group in a mo. Harry Runs is our special guest tomorrow. Oh, let me just see if I've got a picture of Harry. So Harry, I just put um, a video of him up uh, on Monday because he's coming on the channel. So this is Harry from Harry Runs YouTube channel. He came 15th at the UTMB last year um, and it was his first ever 100 mile race. So he just did brilliantly. He was the third Brit and I spoke to him afterwards and I did a little interview with him that I put out on Monday, which I hope you've seen. Um, super nice guy, gave us three tips for endurance. Really, really nice. Um, so he's coming live on the channel tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. UK time. So make sure you're there. Yeah, and if you're a patron, you can ask um, pre-questions to Harry, which I'll guarantee will get answered. Um, so make sure that you type your question. I'll put it in the Facebook group and I'll put it on the patron page as well. Um, 
after I've finished blathering on here. Um, so make sure you ask your questions to Harry. Um, it doesn't have to be about the UTMB. It'll be mainly, I'll be um, kind of leading him through how he trained for the UTMB and all that kind of thing. But if you've got any questions about running at all, then do put them to Harry because um, he is a running coach and he coaches all abilities and all levels. So um, so yeah, anything you want to ask, um, especially if you want to up your distance as well. He's a really good ultra runner and he also follows a plant-based diet. So if you've got any questions about vegan fueling that kind of thing then then he's your man for that okay so that's harry runs he's our special guest tomorrow evening 6 30 uk time be there to ask questions um and then the the second thing is that i have launched a new website um, so check it out. It's wildgingerrunning.co.uk and there is a special patron only area of the website which is now ready. So um, I think I've forgotten how you access it as a patron. I know I tick a box to say patrons only. I think it knows your patron email. So whatever, e whatever, however you signed up to patron, it will ask you for that. So put whatever email you use to sign up on patron into my website and it will allow you access to the patron only page. So what is on the patron only page? So the patron only page tells you about the next meetup um, and it tells you, um, it gives the discounts that I've arranged with various people. Um, there's not very many on there at the moment, but as we go through the year and as people start to kind of come out of lockdown, there'll be more on there. Brands will be more generous, I think. Um, so there's a couple of discounts on there at the moment. Um, Innovate and Mountain Fuel. Um, and then the other great thing is that all the exclusive patron only films will go on there. So there's my Kate Rath Ultra series at the moment, that's on there. And then there's a couple of kind of thank you videos at the moment as well. Um, and so every month I'm planning to do um, a, a just like one or two patron only films. So head to that area of the website to see all the patron only things. They all also appear in a patron only playlist on YouTube, um, but it's easier probably to access it from the website. So pop onto the website and see all the patron only stuff um so um, i hope you like that uh, there's like another little perk of being a patron there so the third thing um is i need to say that i'm sending patron only buffs to two more people this month so um so people for um that are owed a buff for the start of june are richard howard and Catherine ramsden and then we've got a ton of people who signed up in april who will be getting a buff next month. So next month, um, I'm gonna be sending out buffs to um, Becky Nisbet, Chloe Mason, although I haven't got a, an address for you, Chloe, so please put your address on there soon and I can send it one, send you one. Um, Maeve O'Reilly will get one, Alex will get one, um, Arnold Yao will get one, although I don't have an address for you, Arnold, so please fill that in too. Um, and Laura Aran Tannen will get one, and then we're on to the next month um, where people signed up in May. So um, so yeah, so next month those people will getting be getting a, a wild ginger running buff. Um, and yeah, if you want any stuff in the meantime, the new website also has a shop on it. So you can buy t-shirts with uh, things like this on, I think this one is big in the center. Um, you can't really see it just there. Um, yeah, so t-shirts with the Wild Ginger Running logo on and there's a Wild Ginger Running buff, which is different to the patron buff. Um, and what else is on there? All the COVID challenge stuff is on there as well. So if you were, have been doing the COVID 19K challenge, all the medals are on there. I'm actually gonna order them this afternoon. So if you haven't got one yet, then now is the time to order those as well. Okay, so Richard Howard says, yay, he's getting his buff. Yes, Richard, I am posting your buff this week. Ta da And I think Alex DeHoto has watched from the start because he's just put exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Woohoo! <laughs> Hope you're celebrating now, Alex. Um, John Gardner says, the website sounds great. Um, Gordon Parton says the same as well. Um, Kurt Steed wants to come over for a meetup one day. Yes, well, hopefully one day, I don't know when, but one day we'll do a training camp in Chamonix and that will be a really Really cool place for us all to meet because it's like a total trail running mecca and destination um and uh, uh kurt loves harry as well so that's cool um uh new phone who just says random question which big races are still on this year i don't think any of them are <laughs> utmb has been cancelled um ultra tour Mon de monterose has been cancelled everything has been cancelled yep 
So yeah, sorry about that. Um, the, there's some quite a lot of um, virtual races are popping up now. So my friend Janine, who I was just doing a walk with this morning, she said she signed up to a virtual one um, where she's running the whole of the Southwest Coast Path. So it's 630 miles and it's over seven months. And what they do is when you log your mileage, they tell you where you are on that trail. So it does, it sounds quite good, like quite motivational. So that could be something to do as well. There's also the COVID-19 K challenge, if you're interested, still going on, still going on and medals are available. Um, fab. Oh, Sue Hewitson is here as well. Hello to you, Sue. Um, she says uh, she managed to catch a live feed at last. Oh, I should do more at lunchtime then, shouldn't I? It's a good time for everyone. Um, and Sharon Jameson says, oh, patron perks are sounding more and more tempting. <laughs> yes, become a patron. You might get a prize. Um, Arlene M says that she wants to come over for a meetup too. Yes, it would be so lovely to see our Amer American friends. It would be great. Um, it would be absolutely wonderful to see you. Okay, so those are all the announcements and now I want to tell you what is in the competition for June. Um, so I'll draw this at the end of June, so probably kind of 1st of July-ish time. So as usual, we have our head torch from Silver. So this is the Cross Trail 5 Ultra and it is super powerful um, and it's worth £155. Then we have a new entry. We have a, oh, where is that gone? Harrier. We have a Harrier training bundle. So, oh, here we go. Here it is. So Harrier is a new trail running brand and we will be hearing more of from the founder of this new trail running brand. She's called Kate McKenzie um, and she lives in the Peak District and we are going to be chatting with her on, I think, I'm pretty sure, June the 24th. So that's a Wednesday, that's a live chat. And so um, I've been um, helping Kate to design some of the gear, um, uh, the poles and the backpack. Um, and helping her like um, with stuff on the website, like consulting work. Um, and it's really, really interesting what goes into starting a new brand. And, and what Kate has done is she hasn't got any shop, so she's able to cut out the middleman. It's just her and a couple of other people working on the project. Um, so she's able to offer um, really good quality trail running gear at a, a really reasonable price. So it's not like your decathlon kind of mass market kind of 30 quid stuff, but it's not like your Salomon Ultimate Direction 150 quid stuff. She's gone for very much in the middle, kind of like 60 or 70 quid for a backpack. And polls that kind of thing so she has offered us the prize um, which you can see just here um, it's not all of these things I, I couldn't find an actual picture because her website's not live yet but I'll, I'll get one for her for when I draw the prize and obviously the shoes aren't in there they're just her shoes um, but and the map as well um, but the prize is basically um, a running pack a buff a little first aid kit um, some Harrier water bottles um, a pair of pot running poles and um, a first aid kit and a survival blanket and that can you believe that that's all worth 95 pounds all of that because she sells them in these bundles that she offers a big discount for so that's only worth 95 pounds um which is not good in terms of my competition because then i had to find more things to make it up to 400 pounds so again we still have the morton nutrition bundle which Killian Jornet is now using. I couldn't believe that. So I emailed the PR guy for Morton. I was like, so now you've got Killian on the books, can we interview him for like 10, 15 minutes about his, I don't know, daily food intake? And they said no. So sorry about that. We haven't got Killian Jornet on, on the show, but we do have a freebie from Morton Nutrition. So that's worth 60 pounds. Then we've still got that hydration belt from Hyena in there as well. So that I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller so you can still see my face. And then um, we have got um, training plans. So this is a new thing. This is, um, oh, where's that gone? Let's just get that. Okay, so this is a new thing from um, a company called Vert, uh, Vert Running. So, oh, yeah. I'll make it big for a second. So this is um, a new company um, and they produce training plans. Um, so this training plan is a month's worth of training. So it's worth 20 pounds. So the training is 20 pounds a month. Um, and as you can see from this picture here, you can sign up to test um, the different programs out for, for seven days for free. But they have got, um, they have uh, tied in with Ruth Croft, who is an amazing um, ultra runner from New Zealand. She's um, she's won and come and podiumed in the Skyline Scotland 
Scotland races several times um, and I've met her um, she's really lovely and she has agreed to come on a live chat um, soon as well so I think she'll be on a live chat in July talking about these training plans so she's done she's worked with them on how to train for ultra marathons in cities and really useful stuff like that but whoever wins this will just get the training that they require you can pick whatever level you want so that's worth 20 pounds and that's from vert running so you can all just sign up on there for the live um for the seven days um free if you want as well because it might just be you know if you want a training plan for something you may as well just it's not very expensive it seems like a good way of doing it to me so you could tell me what it's like as well because because i haven't tried it yet then we have 25 pounds worth of delicious chocolate from carol armitage so carol makes absolutely delicious chocolate here it's like all handcrafted homemade um this is 25 pounds worth it's it's a, a basically a huge huge bag of hot chocolate <laughs> so she hasn't sent this to me i told her i said carol do not send me the chocolate to send out to the winner because the winner will not get the chocolate so she is hanging onto that chocolate and there will be more chocolate to win in a future month as well so stay tuned um and then because so because the harrier prize is so reasonably priced i had to find all these other prizes um to make it add up to 400 pounds worth for the main winner um so then the last prize to take it up to that 400 pounds is lori morgan's book again beyond limits so that is worth 12 pounds so i think i i have i'm not very good at maths but i think that adds up to 400 if not i think there's plenty there isn't there so there, there that's her book beyond limits and i can't i just can't stress enough how lovely lori is if you type in lori morgan while ginger running you can see her live chat on my channel so so do definitely check her out if you um if you have time for a lovely hours chat with Lori she's a really really interesting character um and then we do have a second prize and a third prize and both of those are going to be um let me just get rid of these things both of the second and third prize is going to be a book by Paul Tonkinson, who is a comedian. He does the um, running commentary podcast with um, Rob Deering, who's also a comedian as well. So I met both of those um, people, those the guys at the National Running Show in January, and they are really, really lovely guys. Like, they're just really down to earth, really lovely, like happy to chat to anybody. And this book is very funny. It made me laugh out loud. I think I turned the page over where it made me laugh out loud. Shall I just read it to you? Oh yeah, I'll read you this bit, okay. Right, so so this is them in the start tent, okay. So um, uh, he says, the aroma of Vaseline permeates the tent, mixing with the fresh coffee and croissants. Again, this Vaseline can be administered privately or in company. Being a sensitive soul, I grease my inner thigh and armpits with discretion. Others are less coy. Cracknell is, to be honest, a bit of a beast, a feral god amongst men. He works his groin with Vaseline like he's starting a lawnmower. If he were to do it in a normal scenario, I reckon he'd be immediately arrested. <laughs> I loved that bit. I actually laughed out loud when I read that. And there's loads of really funny bits like that in Paul's book. So it's a really, really good re read. So um, I'll, put, I'll have to put links to all, the, all three of these books in the YouTube description below, just if, in case you're interested and in case you, you haven't won one. Because, um, yeah, books are a great thing, aren't they, right now, just in lockdown. Read as many running books as you can to inspire you to keep going out. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> cool. Okay, so that is everything. Um, yeah, like June is an amazing bunch of prizes, isn't it? There's like so many different things and they're, they're, they're all quite sort of, like they seem like they should be worth more, <laughs> but they're all kind of like 20, 30 pounds. I had to just get loads of them to make up to the 400 pounds. Um, cool. Okay, so... Um, just going to read out a few more things and then I will leave you all to carry on with your day because oh it just it's just so lovely outside isn't it and I think the weather's going to break tomorrow so I'll probably be out running again tomorrow it's just uh, so hot <laughs> um cool uh so let me see um Doug Wood says us runners aren't normal people well that is true Doug I very much get that <laughs> um uh, oh cool, so Kurt has just tried the patron only area and it validates you if you are a patron, so that is fab. So go onto the website, anyone who's a patron, if you're not a patron, go to here, 
which is patreon.com slash wildgingerrunning and have a look and see, check out the tiers. There's lots of different tiers and it's honestly, it's like as little as a cup of coffee every month. So, you know, if you're not buying a cup of coffee recently, then then become a patron and there's loads of really cool perks, including joining the exclusive Facebook group where we're all like, everybody's really nice in there. And um, we all just, you know, post pictures of our runs and uh, like different films that we've seen. And just, there's like loads of just chit chat going on in there. Um, people ask advice in there as well. Um, so yes, um, cool. Oh, I've read those ones. Uh, Abby Norman says, yay, Harrier. And Guy Greatrex loves Harrier too. Um, a new phone who just wants us to come and run in Switzerland. Yeah, I would love to run in Switzerland. Sounds amazing. John Watts is impressed with Harrier as well. Um, Mike Shaw says hello from the lakes. Oh, so jealous that you live in the lakes. Oh, yes, go now, Mike. Go run for the hills. Um, Sharon says hello from Scotland. Fantastic. Got people all over the world. Um, Sharon said if if I've had input on the backpack, it will be the best backpack in the world. Well, it's not the best backpack in the world because. I think I would have made some stuff slightly different, but it's two people's minds on it rather than just one. But I think with backpacks, you, you could make the perfect one for you, but then that might not necessarily be the perfect one for everybody else in the world. So I think backpacks can sometimes be quite personal, but generally it is a really good backpack and I'm really pleased with what um, Kate has created there. So so it's, it's really, really good. There's some things you just can't do for that price point, so yeah it's just um it's a really good really good value backpack i really really like it. i'm really looking forward to testing it i've just tested the polls actually and i'm um i've just sent the i'm just editing the polls review at the moment so that polls will be the next thing to come out and the harrier polls are in that um uh and stephen mackey said if i could only put one thing in my backpack what would it be oh i think it would have to be water right now stephen water um and have you seen the results of the competition, Stephen? <laughs> um, and Kurt Siege is talking about the Northern Harrier, a bird. Yes, well, Kate um, called the company Harrier because um, Harriers are her mum's favourite birds. She said she had an awful job getting it trademarked, but she's finally managed to do it. <laughs> oh, new phone who just agrees with me. Um, Oh, cool. Stephen Mackey says winning just one of these things would be awesome. Well, maybe you did win something, Stephen. Rewind through the broadcast and see if you won something. Um, Dayboy from 19... Dayboy1980 from Swansea is watching. Cool. Um, and he just bought the Active 8 skin vest. What is that? Salomon, maybe? And he says, wow. Wow. Good. Good for you. Um, Sue is listening to that book on Audible just now. It's really good. Oh, what book? This book, Sue. This. Oh, I love the sound of that. I hope Paul read it himself because that would have been funny. Um, and Abby says she is waiting for the libraries to open to read Paul's book. She can't wait to read it. Yeah, it's really, really good. You'd really like it, Abby, I think. Um, Gordon said he loved the book. He ordered it when he was being interviewed. Oh, fab. Um, and Guy loves Lowry. He could listen to her all day. Yep, listen to it again, Guy. Um... Yeah, <laughs> uh, Sharon's saying, what a super collection of runners. Um, oh, Stephen's making bread, fantastic. Um, uh, Gordon Parton didn't know about the patron part. Um, yes, yeah, the patron part is uh, is new. That's why you didn't know about it, Gordon. Um, and Hannah says, hello. Hi, Hannah. Um, and she'll watch this all later. Um, and uh, New Phone Who Just says, lots of races are being cancelled, but running tours are available. Oh, cool. Okay, well, all we go off we go, all of us to Switzerland. I don't know if there are any planes available. That's the only thing. Um, and Paul reads the book on Audible, according to Sue. Fantastic. Great. Okay. Well, that's tons of people are watching. 41 people are watching right now live. I am thrilled that so many people have tuned in on such a beautiful day. I do hope you're all listening from outside. I am definitely going to go outside. So my afternoon is looking really cool because on my to-do list next, I have got to buy a new camera to, um, I'm buying this camera, like look it up. It's called the Sony zv1 and it's supposed to be like the best vlogging camera so i'm hoping that this will like dramatically improve the quality of my videos i'm gonna also buy some remote wireless microphones as well so hopefully my sound will improve as well so i i am going to buy those things this afternoon ah um it's always scary making a big new purchase isn't it um 
And then the other thing I'm going to do is order all the medals as well. So the COVID 19K challenge is, is still running, but lockdown's seeming to ease now. So I'm putting the order in for the medals. We've got 400 people that have ordered a medal. So, um, that all the profits from those medals are gonna to go to charity. Um, we're gonna decide on the charity in the COVID-19 K Facebook group. So um, uh, get in the Facebook group if you want to um, influence the decision there. But yeah, um, we are. I'm gonna be ordering them this afternoon. So I've got a really, really nice afternoon planned. So it's not outside. Well, I could sit outside on the table, but I might do that actually. Yes, so yeah, I hope you guys get to go outside. I hope you can work outside if you're still working from home. Um, but stay happy, stay safe, stay running, run in the mornings if it's too hot, jump in a river, all that kind of stuff. It has been lovely chatting to you. Um, and just uh, sign up on Patreon if you want to be in with a chance to win all the amazing goodies in the June competition. So I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.